The firestorm over Duck Dynasty star Phil Robertson's gay comments continue today. A&E might be fine walking away from Phil, but the Robertson family made clear they are sticking by him. In a statement, the family said, quote, We are disappointed that Phil has been placed on hiatus for expressing his faith, which is his constitutionally protected right. We cannot imagine the show going forward without our patriarch at the helm. We are in discussions with A&E to see what that means for the future of Duck Dynasty. Now, interestingly, the gay community has been split in their reaction. Here is Glad reacting last night on The Kelly File. This is not a free speech issue. What the, the, the defenders of Phil Robertson are seeking is freedom from consequence. None of us are entitled to that. If right now I were to say something to you completely outlandish, Glad would never allow me back on your air again. If you were to give a press interview with GQ and you were to say something outlandish, Fox News might have to put you on indefinite hiatus. We, are all, we all have to answer to our employers. But openly gay feminist professor Camille Paglia, who is a liberal, slammed the backlash, saying the legacy of free speech is all but dead. This is the level okay, of, of punitive PC, utterly fascist, utterly Stalinist, okay, that my liberal colleagues in the Democratic Party and on college campuses have supported and promoted over the last several decades. This is what, this is the, the whole legacy of the free speech 1960s has been lost by my own party. Okay, so Greg, you have uh, been sending uh, emails, things about uh, Camille Paglia. You like her? You oh, like I, her she's, a, she's a renegade thinker. The, the, the interesting thing that uh, Glad, the Glad guy said is that we all answer to our employers. What he leaves out is the employer is terrified of Glad. It's all about suppressive tolerance. They are scared of what Glad might do to them. You know who's really offended over this? Radical Islam. Uh, they, they, they look at Robertson and you say, you call that hateful? We kill gays. Uh, uh, but punishing, punishing Robertson for a religious belief or a part of a religious belief, which is actually the integral success of the show, is the fact that they are very religious. is like grounding a member of Glee for singing. It makes no sense. A&E, uh, they're in their rights to do it, but they're hypocritical for doing it because they know this is part of the success of the show. And they're sitting there w with, what, 30, 40 hours for a marathon of, of shows that they're going to do, that's millions of dollars in advertising. I don't think they're going to be donating it to AIDS charities, are they? Eric? Well, I, I think what's going to end up happening is that marathon is going to rate through the roof, and they're going to go, yeah. wow, what do we do? Exactly. Also uh, saying, wow, what do we do in, in a good way, because now everyone's tuning into A&E to find out what's going to go on. Meanwhile, the, the, those episodes, in fact, going forward, there's some ep episodes with Phil Robertson's that are what, what's called in the can that are going to continue to air. Going forward... I have a hunch. Look, again, don't. I got destroyed on Facebook last night because I said, yes, Phil has a right to say what he said. Yes, A&E has a right to pull Phil off the, off the air. And yes, you viewers have a right to say, I'm not going to take it. I'm changing the channel. Well, guess what? That's the free market. That's the Constitution. I'm as Catholic as I come. I'm as Christian as I come. You don't have a right to tell me I'm not Christian. But I will tell you, everyone, I believe, is in their right right now. And A&E will walk this back before Phil ever misses an episode. So was this a complete mishap in terms of communications from, from A&E, how they handled this? Because it doesn't seem like it's going to work out for them very well in the end. And I wouldn't be surprised if the family even walked and went to a different network. So I was uh, without an Internet signal for quite a while <coughs> yesterday for hours. And then I, I, I was going to say out of pocket, but it's hard when Greg's standing here because that's a band he phrase. Banned it, yeah. yeah, but she's, she literally is a, can be out of a pocket. And in a pocket. That's what that I size. thought. Um, so... I finally get a signal. I'm looking at my email, start looking at Twitter, and I think, wow, America has lost its collective mind. Hmm. Um, here's a question I have about the A&E thing. When you do an interview like this, you have to make a couple of choices. When you are dealing with a conservative and a religious person, it is different than dealing with somebody like Leonardo DiCaprio, who is going to be a super, who is a superstar already. You have to think twice before you go and you do something with, with an interview with a magazine that... You don't need to do an interview with them. A&E had to have done this interview a while ago. Or the, the, Phil Robertson had to do the interview a while ago. ago. So A&E knew about this for three months. Right. And they don't do anything to get ahead of it beforehand. It's like try to deal. It makes me wonder if A&E dropped the ball on purpose. purpose. Exactly. In order to get people to watch the marathon right. that's coming up at the end of the month. It's perfect. And I'll tell you another thing. The young PR people that are sitting there monitoring the interview, probably on their Blackberries or their iPhones the whole time texting with their friends, while their client, Phil Robertson, is doing the interview, probably didn't even notice it.
Mm. And so now they've created a huge firestorm. Americans are at each other's throats when we should be realizing all the blessings that we have in America and let this thing go. Mm. All right, I go to my left, literally. Less, literally, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> a thing I found most interesting was what the family said. We cannot imagine moving forward without our patriarch. Now, if I'm A&E, I would be scared to death of that language. They say we're in negotiations with, with A&E. If they're going to stick to what they say and they're not going to go forward without Phil, then I've got to assume there's going to be a lot of other networks that are going to want to pick him up. What Wouldn't he you said, take the sure, fans? but but what he said was outlandish in the gay community, and I understand that, and I appreciate it. Uh, he should have been more cautious about what he was saying. He wasn't. You're right. The PR people should have picked it up. But A and E still has the right not to put it on. But A and E, I think, is going to dig themselves in a hole, and they're going to lose a show that is a dynamo show and getting a lot of an audience. You know, the interesting part is that um, advertisers are so. Um they're so tuned into Duck Dynasty. They're not going to leave Duck Dynasty. No. The only way it falls apart for A&E is if the, if the crew decides they don't want to do it anymore. They're probably under contract and, and are going to either have to do it or not be on TV for a certain period of time. But that's how A&E would lose. These advertisers are going to go with Duck Dynasty no matter where they go or if they stay. So it, it may be a really, really smart move on their part knowing they're not going to lose any advertising revenue because no one's going to go anywhere because advertisers are, 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 are um, I don't know. Uh, they don't want to leave Duck Dynasty. So smart. They'll continue to get the ad revenues. Um, question is, will the, will the duck, duck fellas play? Well, the, the Duck Dynasty people, one of the things that's so appealing about their show is their entrepreneurial spirit and yes. how they took this idea for a duck call and turned it into this mega empire for duck calls. And then they turned into a media empire as well. But I do wonder one thing. You know, you hear companies now that grow empire. too fast and they forget who their customer yeah. is, and they try to sell too, too many things, and they, then there has to be a regrouping. I think that actually happened with the Duck Dynasty, Dynasty, the media empire. I think that they forgot, and they got just a little bit ahead of their skis uh, in doing an interview with GQ. Like, what conservative has no ever skis. done an interview with GQ, and it's turned out well? Yeah. Where? Please, show me where Well, that that's like happened. Vanity Fair. They should have just sent no a Q&A to Phil it. Robertson's people and said, could you send us your five best grooming tips that we want to include it in our December issue? He's not even on the cover. But, but, it wasn't supposed to be about him. You know, the, um, the, 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 this outrage is uh, based on uh, Robertson's, uh, uh, some of it was crude, who knows, uh, saying that gays are, are sinners. Gays should not feel special over that. Uh, if you are friends of, with religious people, everybody's a sinner. Everybody's a sinner. So, sinner. So, I don't think you should be too insulted about being called a sinner. But the other thing about this, and it drives me nuts, is words do not wound. Mm -hmm. it, we're, there's no linkage to Robertson's beliefs to violent action. Uh, that's why I brought up radical Islam in the beginning. Their, their word, they follow up their words with beheadings. Uh, all Robertson did was state his religious beliefs, but he didn't say, I'm going to go out and cut off somebody's head. That's why, that's why this trend of bullying about how words hurt is so dangerous, because it's actually going to limit debate. And the only way you can find truth and sides can come and meet is through debate. Okay, let me, let me just try to do one thing, correct a little bit of this uh, religious is religious fusion out of the Bible. A lot of what he said was not biblical. Mm -hmm. Bestiality was not biblical. The comparison between female parts and male parts was not biblical. Yeah, and so for people who have contacted me and others here saying that we have lost track of our of our Bible and, and what the Bible is saying. A lot of what he said was in the Bible, but a lot was not. So but, let's you know, not hang the, it all but, on but, the Bible. But, but, but let's also not, um, let's not put too much on Phil. I mean, the guy's, he's not, he's not a priest. He's not a pastor. He's a Duck Dynasty guy. It's a um, reality show. Who, yeah, it's a who reality reads show. the Bible on a regular basis. Uh, uh, yeah. Here, here's, here's the, I, look, okay, so he maybe have had, t took things a little bit too far, but his general, I guess, idea was that, he adheres. He he believes in the Bible. He follows Christian beliefs, and and that is something he well, believes. The question but he is, ought to though, stick to the, the word. He ought to stick to the if, word. If it was a if it was a gay man or a woman who were who was condemning being straight, would a and e pull the pull the plug on that show too? I, I would I would think no. Well, this it's, is it, the question is: do, do activist groups? hold too much power with, with, the, with the media. Well, I think they hold much sway with the media, with decisions and with thought police and about what's politically correct and what's appropriate, but also comes down to what, what are your rights and some interesting uh, thoughts from Carl Rove. Take a listen. 
he doesn't have a right, a First Amendment right to have a TV show, but he does have a First Amendment right to have opinions. And his view that homosexuality is a sin is a religious tenet of many, many Americans. And we ought to respect people who believe that. Uh, but his language was crude and offensive. And um, why he allowed himself to be drawn into an interview by, uh, by a magazine on this topic is beyond me. They, See, but I don't fault Phil about. Robertson for that, um, being led into an interview, because there are, there are so many people that are surrounding them that should have more sense. They, then they should hire some better people to be able to manage them, because they've got a wonderful show going. Um, and he, you know, he gave an apology um, that possibly is sincere. You know, a lot of people that um, have personal experience um, and, and family and friends um, have a different viewpoint. It wasn't just that the gay community was offended. A lot of people were. And then he said he was uh, apologetic for that. I think that one of the things that we can do in America is say, OK, he said it. There's been an apology. A&E has done what, what they're going to do. The family said they're sticking by him. A&E doesn't get to choose who's part of the head of the family and who's not. They can't just cut out a family member that's the head of the whole show. So I, I have a feeling that this will, like other outrage, uh, will dissipate over the weekend, and we can start fresh and have a good Christmas next week. Right. Yeah. So, so Cut Bob says something crazy, and, and the bosses say, "Beckel, you're off the show." We're all going to say, "No, we're, we're not coming in if Beckel's not." Yeah, we well, can't. Be, we can't have a five thing. without we're, our well, patriarch. I, don't know about that. Was, I got very close once. You remember? Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, what? Once. Once. <laughs> but uh, but uh, you know, I, here's the other thing about. I mean, Duck Dynasty has gotten lots and lots of publicity. Did you really need one more magazine? Story? No. I mean, Absolutely. that's the thing. They, they stand alone. They're, the guy that's, they're maybe second only to that anchor guy, whatever his name is. No, they're one. Uh, but, <laughs> but, uh, but they've been everywhere, and it seems to be you've got to be a little careful. Is, because you, the more of these things you do, the more interviews you do, the bigger the chances are that you're going to make The hardest mistake. thing to do when you get to this level, the hardest thing for the pu public relations and the publicity no. people to do is to say no. Is to look at them and say, I'm sorry, I know that you really want to talk to him. I know that he's the most popular thing. I know you, he's going to help sell your magazine. We're going to take a pass on this one. And but, saying no it will actually increase the supply and demand thing and make your client even more attractive. But, but what I, the, the underlying uh, message behind that is don't say what you think. Uh, because it, what you're saying is just don't allow options for him to express his beliefs. What you're saying is don't say what you really, really think. Let them watch the, watch the TV. On TV, we'll edit out anything you say about gay people. We will make sure that you're, you're, you're completely sterilized. He finally says what he says. And he knows what he believes. They need and he months. knows. But right. if you, Greg, if you were Phil, do you think you'd do this interview over again if you had to do it over again? Um, yeah, I guess. But I don't know. I, look at, I don't think he gives a damn. But here, yeah, he's, remember, <laughs> he's the one who walks away from an interview with Barbara Walters for Most Fascinating People so that he can go duck hunting. Yeah. So I don't actually think the, that I'm not trying to suggest that he shouldn't say yeah. what, he, what he thinks. I just think right. they should be smarter about the interviews that they decide to do. I, I would say there's the, right, from here going forward, there's a, there's a real opportunity. There's an opportunity for the Duck Dynasty crew to... to to, to handle it the right way where they don't take... The, by the way, if, if they go too hard apologizing, they're going to tick off their whole yeah. audience. They're going to say, what are you doing? We're backing you. So they have to be careful how they handle an apology or bringing Phil back on. It's going to be very interesting they though, just in, be themselves. in the wake of all this. But he made his apology already, and now they've seen that they're pushing up hard against uh, A&E. So I think A&E, it's your move now. And advantage, duck.